Something to be aware of this morning. It's also wet out there this morning. Let's check in with Brian. The good news is we're starting to see that widespread rain break up into showers. So that means on and off rain throughout the rest of the day. Be, uh, the showers will be fewer and farther be between than what we've seen over the past few hours. Notice those spotty showers popping up on the coast now. Those could develop into thunderstorms. I'm going to be watching that throughout the morning. The widespread rain and the widespread snow is now east of I-5, pushing its way up into the Cascades. We'll continue to see snow throughout the day, but I think the bulk of the snow has now already fallen. All right, let's take a look here at uh, how we're doing so far this month with the rain. Of course, we've got some overnight, so this will add to our totals, but we've had about an inch up to this point. Usually in December, we'd be a little more than that. I think we'll play a little catch up here uh, today, and then especially on Saturday when we're going to be seeing a lot more rain. But we've had rain or snow or rain at least every day here uh, so far this month. Current temperatures are in the low 40s to mid 40s on the west side of the Cascades. Very chilly over on the east side. And those southerly winds are keeping us a little bit more mild today, especially up at Bellingham where tips are starting off in the 40s. Uh, Bellingham gusting to around 22 miles an hour at the most recent check. So lowlands today will be looking at on and off showers. Temps in the mid 40s. The mountains will catch two to five inches of snow and we'll see some snow showers in central Washington as well. Here's a breakdown of your day. We're at 42 now. We're not really moving that thermometer all that much here today, but later on tonight we will see those temps back down into the 30s. In fact, overnight lows dropping down to around 35 degrees. We get into your Saturday. That's going to be our wettest day coming up over the next seven. We're much drier starting on Sunday, continuing through next week, but we are going to be very cool with those overnight lows dropping down close to freezing once again. Let's head on over to Adam. He's got to check out your traffic.